Welcome everyone to the second Slug Disco vlog. We are still just calling it the vlog for now. We'll be talking about things that happened in the past month or so, uh, things that are c coming up for the, in the near future for Empires of the Undergrowth and uh, the other games that Slug Disco publishes. This time around, we're going to have a segment from our product marketing manager, Dan, who will be talking about the other games, particularly Ecosystem this month. So let's just get to it. Hello, my name is Dan. I'm the product marketing manager here at Slug Disco, and I'm here to talk to you about the games that we publish. First up, we're going to be seeing a clip from the first dev diary with Tom, the developer of Ecosystem, ahead of the next update to the game, where it seems as though we've come up with a weird new fish dating app. The is that replicated in Ecosystem? The kind of the brighter colors, are they more desirable when kind of the mating's taking place in the game? So uh, somewhat, although not really strongly. Um, so it, it makes you stand out, and that does matter to the creatures just when they're when they're looking for mates. Um, um, but they don't have like they they don't yet have uh, sort of specific like mating preferences. Like they they don't uh, they don't necessarily like things yet. But that is something that I've I've always kind of been interested in um, in modeling, and there is kind of like a simple. There's kind of like a simple, almost like a, uh, I've been writing the system to do that was almost like designing like a, a dating app or, or something like that to try <laughs> yeah. to, to when the, 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 when the fish, they have a list of other fish that they know about, you know, and, uh, and they're trying to, to pair off in, in different ways. Um, so in the background, they'll be swiping right or left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The first Dev Diary is now up on the Slug Disco channel, so be sure to check that out. And this month, I also chat with Paul, the developer of Adapt, where he walks us through what he's been up to recently, as well as him showing off some of the new adorable parts that are coming to the game. And so now, even with just the one beak gene, without having to change your genes, you can get access to um, some various options um, as far as your, your play style. Um, and of course, diet is a really extreme example of that. It's going to really fundamentally change the way that you interact with the world. So uh, I think that's very exciting. Again, the full interview is up now on the Slug Disco channel. Be sure to check that out if that's something that you think would interest you. And I think that's everything from me this time around. Back to you, Mike. Thank you, Dan. So, Empires of the Undergrowth Wise, first things first, thanks everyone who's played Adventure, giving us feedback on that. Uh, you guys seem to be uh, enjoying that game mode. There are some changes coming to Adventure soon. Uh, we'll be doing things like adding um, uh, an option to choose either Royal Guard or Royal Decree uh, uh, as an you know as an unlockable thing to happen uh, at a certain point in the in the uh, level. Yeah, and quite a few other changes along with that um, Adventure Plus update, as we called it. Surprise! We're glad we seem to have surprised most of you on that. I think most people weren't expecting that update until probably even the new year. But uh, it seems to have gone down well. The tutorial mode has uh, been excellent in uh, keeping player attention and, and giving people a really solid grounding in how to play Empires. And of course, we've got now the new um, Rotten Log tile set for the 1X levels and the Hungry Spider level. Uh, we're we're going to be expanding that as well to other parts of the game at, at, at certain points. But uh, that's the wonderful work of, uh, of uh, Dan C, our environment artist. And uh, he has now moved on to doing a revamp of the beach levels. We're going to have, um, you know, updated textures, uh, new plants, uh, new decorations. Uh, so that's what he's doing now. That will probably take him, um, you know, a, a, a couple of months. Once he's finished that, then he'll be moving on to tier five, uh, which we haven't announced uh, the location of just yet. But we probably will in the new year. For anyone who hasn't jumped in and bought Empires of the Undergrowth yet, the free demo has recently been updated. We've included uh, the tutorial system that we added to the game a short while ago. And we've also included a limited form of the battle arena, which is kind of a sandbox mode where you can pit two teams against each other and just kind of see who wins. So now's a really good time to jump into the demo um, if you fancy giving it a go. I spoke last time about uh, the sequel season for Extra Levels, uh, and the first of those is due to arrive fairly shortly, uh, fairly imminently, in the next, uh, this month, it should be this month. Uh, that's Occupation 2, where you play as little black ants uh, in a solely underground environment uh, with uh, lots of challenges. Uh, it's quite a tricky, large level, so uh, it should take you guys a little while to figure out on the harder difficulties, but I'm looking forward to seeing you play. So, uh, coming up, if you see our roadmap um, before, uh, we have the free play editions. That's a large segment, and that's what um, mainly John and Matt uh, are currently working on at the moment. 
so things that have recently been added to free play include titans. So there's the bullfrog and the great blue skimmer and uh, the uh, huge whip spider from the third tier, which isn't officially a titan yet. You can't climb it, but it will appear in free play. We do eventually intend to make it climbable, but we haven't quite got around to it yet. Uh, other things coming to free play include fire ant bridges. They are uh, an interesting challenge in free play because we realize that if there's more than one colony trying to reach a location from another side, then there's going to be a contest between who actually controls the bridge. So we've come up with some uh, some interesting ideas to have how that's resolvable. We'll talk a bit more about that closer to time. Uh, but uh, it's a uh, it, it's a fun little dynamic, yeah. If you're if you're trying to contend with another fire ant colony that's crossing bridges, also a raptor colonies should be able to use fire ants to create bridges as well. Other kinds of ants will just be able to use the bridges but not be part of them. Bunch of other new things coming to free play as well. Various balance changes, um, lots and lots to talk about. Uh, new Uber creatures. I think I discussed this last time. What's a creature that's definitely getting an Uber? You will definitely get an Uber bombardier beetle. Those will be a thing, and I imagine they'll be a bit painful. We've spent a bit of time recently making a new seasonal level, uh, which should appear in the not too distant future. Uh, we don't want to give any details of, about that away just yet, uh, but it's a it's a really fun little level. I've enjoyed uh, uh, having a play around with it. We'll just drop that one on you at some point. You'll see it when when the time is appropriate. And that's vlog number two. These are fun to make, aren't they? Thanks for thanks for watching. Stick around for the. Uh, bloopers at the end. Uh, I'm sure there are, are several. There'll be a newsletter in early January and then the next vlog will be in February. That's the last vlog and newsletter of 2022. What a year it's been for both the world and for us. Uh, so we're looking forward to 2023. So have a wonderful Christmas and a fantastic new year and we'll see you next time. But uh, just for people who aren't aware, the challenge creature is going to be the six spotted fishing tiger and i believe you say its scientific name as dolomedes triton glitch fixes here and there i always say glitch not bug because you guys like to make that joke we're a game about bugs we know there's also of course uh so i'm just going to pass you over now to dan and tom uh tom is the sole, sole developer lie down tesla so we've got Tesla, I love you very much, but you're going to have to stop scratching when I'm trying to record a video, okay? We'll go out later. <laughs> Dog ownership.